next thing we want to show is that air occupies in space. So there's a couple of very simple pieces of apparatus for this. So once again, you could be shown the apparatus and asked what is it due to demonstrate, or alternatively you could just be asked how would you demonstrate that air occupies the space. So a simple piece of apparatus we're going to use, one of them is this. It is just, I don't need a ping pong ball just now, just a small little beaker with cotton wool at the bottom of it. Okay, so I want to show that air has space, so I want to show that there's air in there. The problem is it looks empty, it doesn't seem to be anything at all in there. But if I do the following, if I take a beaker of water and dip this completely into it, upside down, what's going to happen to cotton wool? Dry or wet? Dry. So we take it all the way back out, shake the water off the outside of the uh, beaker, and we look at it, wet or dry? Dry. So what happened was that pocket of air, as soon as it hit the water, that air stayed inside it. So now no water could get up to the cotton wool because that air was there. So it demonstrates that there must be something there. So the air takes up space. That's one simple demonstration. We'll do another little demonstration here like this. If I suck up water into it, so I go half fill a syringe with water, okay? I fill the rest of the syringe with air. Again, it looks like there might be nothing there because we don't know if air exists or not. And now watch what happens when I try and squirt out the water. Can you get that there, Stefan? Yeah. What's going to happen here, do you reckon? It's not going to go out. We're going to push it. The air is going to go out. The air is going to go out. No, the air is going to push out the water. As I push down the piston, will you notice anything unusual? The air will go to the bottom and the water will go to the top. The air will go to the bottom, water goes to the top. Anything else? The water You've got to imagine that that air, the best way of thinking about air is almost like it's an invisible type of jelly. And it actually can be quite hard to compress too. So watch what happens when I squirt it down. Notice anything unusual? It's pushing the water. The air is staying Yeah, the, the air is staying up there. So the air is pressing down on the water ahead of it and it's driving the water out. And now there's still... The water was going to go to the top. Why doesn't the witch? I thought Peter said the water was going to go He didn't say it, and he guessed it, but at least he guessed. Nobody else guessed. I guess. So the water doesn't go to the top. It stayed and it pushed all the water down below. Okay? So it's a simple demonstration to show that air does actually exist and it does take up space. But the next one is the coolest. Watch this one. This, you need a gas jar and a table tennis ball. You don't need anything else. I think, Stefan, you did this already, so you're going to have to act surprised. <laughs> oh yeah. Sally, would you like to come up and be a volunteer? Okay. <laughs> up you come. They won't quite do a round of applause for Sally. They won't do a round of applause for Sally. Here we go. One table tennis ball. I'm going to put it halfway in a little gas jar. Stay. Stay. Stop. Your mission, all you've got to do is blow the table tennis ball to the back. Easy? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, we'll Air is going to. Do you want to put money on this? Yeah, I'll put money. Actually, I don't know. Right, what? You mean you're going to bet or? I'll put your board marker on it. Sally, whenever you're ready. How much money are we betting on this, by the way? Five cents. No pressure, Sally. I've got five cents. Here we go. Cent. <laughs> I said that, so I said it's going to quite hit her in the face. Would you place. like to try it again? Yeah. With the straw this time. Make sure it balances. Okay, that's fine. Away we go again. <laughs> I said it. Would you like maybe a straw to help you? Last time round. Maybe that makes a difference. No, the straw, the straw will suck it up. Oh, no, that won't. No, no, no. no. Yeah. It's all this. Oh, the middle stops. Yes. Stop. Third time. Okay. Oh. Try not to knock the jar. Wiggle stops. <laughs> Dirty. Why can't the ball not go back to the back? Because there's oh, air, air inside it. Because again, it's like this invisible in. jelly is back there. So all you're doing is you're pushing the jelly back a little bit, and then the jelly bounces back, and it pushes the wall. Like so. So oh, I said that, so I win all the money. You, wish the, you win the five cents that Sally was going to give you. And a yeah, that's exactly like a spring. In fact, Robert Boyle, he said this air that we were walking around, he said it's like walking at the bottom of a sea of air. And it's basically, we're just like crabs walking at the bottom of an ocean. And yes, this air is quite springy. We'll see a couple of more demonstrations. That's to show that the air actually takes up space. 